Hey fellow bass players around the world, this is the new Glary GW101 36 inch bass and for starters I just want to go over to the wall over here and give you a little comparison so you can see the size difference with a standard size bass. This is the Glary standard P bass and this is the 36 inch bass. I'll hold it over here next to my fender and a more accurate size if you want to get an idea it's basically the size of an electric guitar. And this is my Schecter over here, and it's pretty much the size of that. Now, Glary is marketing this bass to kids in the 12 and under demographic. It's a small bass. It only weighs about 6 pounds, 10 ounces, and uh, it would be easy for a kid to play. So if your child is interested in music, this might be a way to go, get him or her one of these. But um, that being said, anybody can play this bass. I'm six foot three, 210 pounds. I don't have a problem playing this. I think it would also be good for older people that maybe they don't have the dexterity in their hands anymore. And uh, this would be easy for them to get their hand around. And also if you're a guitar player, and you want to play bass but you don't want to make the transition to a different feel of the bigger bass, this plays kind of like a guitar. Now um, it has two single coil pickups, we're going to get to hearing it right now. Upon receiving the bass I did need to do a setup on it to make it more playable and I'll show you how to do that at the end of this video. I'm going to play a little bit for you right now. I have both volume turned up and the tone turned all the way up. I'll turn the tone all the way down. I'll turn the volume on the bridge pickup all the way down. So this is just the neck pickup. I'll turn the tone all the way up. Now you can hear some buzz, but that's common with uh, single coil pickups. I get the same thing with my Fender Jazz, especially at clubs. So to minimize that, I'll just turn a little bit, cut down on that noise. Turn the tone down. Turn up the bridge all the way, we'll turn up the tone all the way. Nice and punchy there, right? Now I'll turn the tone down all the way. To me, as a bass player, this bass kind of feels like I'm playing a guitar. So, you guitar players out there would probably love it because you get tap happy. Just wanted to point that out to you in case you're interested in a bass. Here's a closer look at the Glary GW101. It has a mahogany body, single coil J style pickups two volume and one tone. The neck is a maple neck with rosewood fretboard and it has a full 24 frets. It is 1.4 at the nut and we have a tilt back headstock. And here's a look at the back. Four bolts on the neck. Maple neck. I really like the way this bass sounds and feels. It's a fun bass to play and surprisingly it has a lot of punch to it. 
If you'd like to check this space out, you could click the link below in the description box or visit glarymusic.com. With this space, you get some accessories. You get an instrument cable, a strap, and a little carrying case. That's it for me for now. As always, please subscribe. Visit me at stevekonbass.com and keep rocking. I'll catch you next time. Okay, so I just took it out of the box and tuned it up. And as you can see, the strings are kind of far away from the fretboard. So I'm just going to have to do a setup on it. The bass comes with a couple of accessories. With the bass, you get an instrument cable, some picks, a guitar strap, and the hex wrenches you'll need to do a setup on the bass. Okay, now I have the neck supported with a, a book and I'm just going to use a Phillips head screwdriver to take these three screws off of the truss rod cover. And now that the truss rod cover is off, I'm going to put in the hex wrench and I'm just going to give it a quarter turn clockwise. I'm just going to take a quick look at it and I'm just going to turn it a little bit more. You want to make minor adjustments when you're making adjustments to the truss rod. Just a quarter of a turn at a time. All right, that should be good. I'll put the cover plate back on and I'll adjust the saddles. Okay, now with the adjustment made to the truss rod, I'll just tune up. Okay, now I'm just going to play a little bit and check for buzzing. I'm going to start with the G string. Okay, so there's no buzzing on the G string, so that's good. Let's try the D. Little buzzing on the D, so I'm going to adjust that. Let's try the A. That sounds okay, and let's try the E. So the only uh, string that needs adjusting is gonna be my D. Now with the other hex wrench provided, I'm just gonna raise the D string a bit to get that buzz up. After I raise it, I'll tune it up. And now, we'll check to see if it's buzzing. Buzz is gone, so we're all set to play it now. Here's a look at the string height after the bass is set up. And as you can see, it's significantly better.